Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we're going to be launching a space Cessna, like I said I would at the end of the last episode. There it is, I spent an entire afternoon working on this and it's pretty much designed to complete that Rocco Max mission, where we use the radial decouplers above 19 kilometers. Now the problem with this runway is it's pretty terrible if you can see here all these little pits and holes going all over the place. Another thing that I've had to do is when uh, Valentina was killed at the end of the last episode, I was pretty much wiped out financially, so I've got myself about 30,000 credits, or spacos, I think that's what they sometimes call them, uh, to tide me over, alone from the space bank. But yep, we're off. Because it's safer to take off on the grass than the actual purpose-built runway, because the grass is flatter. Because science. While we can, let's just point ourselves straight up in the air and get as much height as possible. Because these engines aren't very good at getting us to the altitude that we need. If we see here, we have to go from 19,000 to 28,000 kilometers at a speed of 300 meters a second to 700 meters a second. The problem that we face with these engines is that when we've got two of them, we can get to about a maximum of uh, maybe about seven and a half thousand to eight thousand meters before we top out and then we start coming down. So that's when we fire up the hammer solid rocket boosters to get us a bit higher. So while we've still got the speed, we're going to use that to get as much altitude as possible because then the ascent's going to get really slow. Keep on like that, I will stall the thing so. We gradually have to level out until we reach as high as the thing will go, then we pull straight up, hit the rocket boosters, and then we go really high, really fast, and complete the mission. And then all we've got to do is bring it back in one piece. So, there's another runway over there on that little island that's in better condition than the current Space Center runway. So if possible, we're aiming for that because it's easier to land on. You can see now that our top speed is dropping, and that's because we're pitching up too much to sustain our ascent and acceleration, so we've got to dip it just a little bit more and get our prograde vector just above the artificial horizon on the nav ball. But now the problem is our rate of ascent has pretty much plummeted to about three meters a second, which isn't exactly ideal. However, we do have enough forward speed to get us up another 100 or 200 meters before we stall, so we do have that on our side. Our forward velocity vector is about to drop below the artificial horizon, and that's why our rate of ascent is so slow. So now would be a very good time to start pitching up and then hitting the solid rocket boosters. There we go. There's a bit of speed for you there. Currently at 140 meters a second. We're going full vertical. 9,000 meters. 280 meters a second. We're going to do this. The only prerequisite we've got to meet now is 19 kilometers above Kerbin, and we're going to do this. We've got enough momentum behind us now to carry us well above 19 kilometers, and then once that's met, we'll drop the tanks and we'll complete the contract. 18 kilometers. 19 kilometers. All prerequisites met. We have completed it. And there go the engines cutting out because the atmosphere is so thin. Still, that does look pretty epic if you ask me. Just the horizon ebbing away into the night with our plane pointing straight up at the stars. Well, I say stars, it's more like we're pointing up at the moon. But never mind, there's a star over there, so it counts. There we go. And finally starting to drop. So we surpassed 28 kilometers, and now we're gonna get a lot of uh, ground speed. There we go, engines are kicking back in. No, this isn't gonna land, I don't think. Or it might do. It's a janky landing, but I'll take it. We're down. We're safe. Toggle them on. Bring us in. Nice one, Samantha. 
Your piloting was excellent, and we're going to stop before the end of the runway. We pulled it off. And we got 21 science. And some reputation. And let us recover that. There we go. And loads of money as well. Very nice. Now we did accept another contract. Take a crew report in flight above 17,100 meters near sector RB1G. Now if we head to the tracking station, we can see that sector RB1G is about there. With that same aircraft, we should be able to complete that other little challenge. Get us some more XP, more money, and other stuff. So we'll launch Samantha again, and we'll send her over there. It's probably not going to be that interesting of a mission, really. Let's go. There we go. We just got our crew report from the sector that we wanted. Now we've just got to land the thing. Without dying. Airstrip ahead. We're not landing on the airstrip because that's suicide. Doing about, ooh, 100 meters a second on our approach. Very gentle rate of descent, which is pretty nice. Ground is but a few meters beneath us. There we go. And we've touched down. I really need to get some lights on this thing so I can see when we're touching down. It's really hard to do in the dark because there's no shadow or anything to tell you your position relative to the ground. But yeah, jobs are good. Well done, Samantha. You're better than Valentina so far. Come on. Slow down to a halt. There we go. Recover vessel. Nicely done. Science 27. Fund 61,000. And Samantha Kerman is still alive. Okay then, so that's all of our missions completed at the moment. Let's go back to mission control and see what else they want us to do. Might as well complete that one. Mission complete. Test the Weasley jet engine. We just had to turn them on. Let's turn the plane off now and just... Oops. Well, we nearly blew ourselves up then. Didn't mean to do that. Oops. We could have got more money back as well for not blowing those up, but I guess this kind of thing happens. So, we've got quite a few of our missions completed, but we haven't got enough science to unlock any new toys. So we're going to have to think about doing more things that involve getting science. Perhaps a flight up to one of Kerbin's poles would be very good. We'll have to do that, but that's a mission for another day. Ladies and gents, thank you for watching me mess around with space planes and not kill anyone this time. I hope you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoy it be sure to leave a like in the comment section below as well as a comment telling me what you think and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy, have a good day, bye bye.